Virginia, Gary, what do you think? Well, Iris, you know, um, it happens sometimes. It happens sometimes that there's too much chemistry, too much to drink, and you have sex. And, you know, in, in general, I, I don't subscribe to this concept that men then won't uh, respect you. We're, I think we're a little bit further than that. Um, we see each other on a more equal basis. But I am concerned about one thing, and that is that a common complaint by women is that his game his efforts um, were dropped after the third month or, or a certain number of dates, whatever. Every woman will tell you that. And it does not help because men are goal-oriented and we are thinking about having sex with you. Otherwise, we wouldn't have asked you out, guaranteed. Um, we thought about that before we asked you out. Um, and if you have sex very early, then we've, we've accomplished more than one half of our mission to begin with. And you will inadvertently teach him that he doesn't have to try as hard. And I'm not saying pull back, pull back to make him try. I'm just saying it's important to pace yourself to allow him to court you and to get even more creative of how he can create more attraction. And pacing oneself is important. And men need to know that also if they wait, um, they'll get a better experience from a woman because she'll be more secure, feel safe and trusting. I tell guys date plus one, which is whatever the date that, say the woman says, you know, I'm a date four girl. After date four, usually I'm there. If he can wait one more date than her, well, now something of the opposite has been created because she's like, what the hell? He doesn't want to sleep with me? Like, like I thought all guys want to sleep with me. And she's, not only is she ready, I'm not saying play, play a game. But not only is she ready, is now she's looking forward to it too. And you didn't be the predictable guy. It was like, yeah, about time. And you jump on that. So can you say a little more about pacing yourself? What does that actually mean? Enjoy yourself. Like if you're genuinely interested in this woman, yes, it's about sex. I understand that. But it's, it's about if you're sincerely interested in the relationship, then there are all sorts of wonderful things that can come out of waiting just a little bit longer than that first, second, or third date. We were talking to someone recently, and she said um, she's a 10-date girl. I was like, oh, 10 dates. Good luck with that. That's, I mean, that's out there, right? 10 dates is a long time. It's three months, practically. Um, but um, waiting will give you a better return on investment than rushing, because if the woman is, is trusting you and feeling safe and emotionally there and not feeling pressured, which is date plus one, give her that extra date so she's actually anticipating now, you're creating a situation, then that's that's the winning thing to do, I think. Yeah, and I actually worked with a couple who, at the beginning of their relationship, she wanted to wait for the six months and not jump into it, and he totally agreed, and at the three-month point, she was just dying to get into bed with him, and he said, no, we made the agreement for six months, and once they started to be intimate, they had a great relationship. So did you have something you wanted to add to sex? Well, sometimes when I get asked this question, people think that I'm saying, you know, hold hands, you know, and that, you know, during like 30, 60, 90 days prior to sleeping together. And it's like, it's no, you can still be intimate. But I think for a woman, you know, minimum 30 days is a good, if you want rules, minimum 30 days, because sometimes we as women, we can overestimate um, how we can handle it. Because on a biological level, a woman sleeps with a man, she remains connected to him for three weeks, whether she likes it or not. It's a full three weeks where even if she can't stand the guy, she's still connected to him. Um, a man remains connected to a woman for three days. <laughs> Only three days, maximum. And this is just, I mean, it just goes back into, like, since the beginning of time. I'm not making anything up from what started last week, you know. So as long as, and another sure. thing I recommend is that it's, it's further to what you're saying. You know, it is worth the wait. If you are looking for a relationship, you're going to have a lifetime of great sex. Why rush it? Why go ahead and do it right now? Um, and that's what I want to say on that. And 